this is going to be a soft-spoken video of me going through the first half of the Major Arcana in a tarot deck. So, um, I don't actually like read tarot cards, I'm just kind of fascinated with them. And I have this deck, which is the Witch's Tarot, which is not the standard Rider weight. so there's a couple of different cards in here. But I have fanned these out so that you can kind of see the backs of the cards, so I'm going to pull these back. And so what I'm going to do is go through the first half of the Major Arcana, telling what the cards mean in the upright position. So this is the first one, it's actually number zero, the Fool, but um, there are 22 cards in the Major Arcana and we're going to go through 11, so that'll be the first half. Um, in order. So zero is the start or the end, depending where you want to put it. Um, for those that don't know a lot about tarot, which includes myself actually, um, the cards can be read in the upright position, so like this, or reversed, where it comes out upside down. But I'm only going to be dealing with the upright positions. And in addition to that, I'm going to give like the associations for each card but also like a general idea of what they mean and then what they can mean in different contexts, so different types of readings. Um, if you were to do, say, um, a love and relationship reading, I'll be doing that definition, money and career, health, and then spirituality, because it can have slightly different meanings for each. So the Fool, oh, also this information comes from a website. It's called thetarotguide.com. I'll put a link in the description. Um, this one is associated with innocence, freedom, originality, adventure, travel, foolishness, carelessness, idealism, youth, spontaneity, lack of commitment, and new beginnings. So the general overall for the Fool is that it's a positive card indicating new beginnings. Um, if it appears in your readings, it can mean that you're on the verge of an exciting, unexpected new adventure. Um, it, could mean that your new adventure will bring you along a path which may require you to take a leap of faith, but that leap of faith will also end up with you experiencing growth as a result of a new experience. So it could be a literal new adventure or it could be figurative. Um, the change that this card usually brings is welcome, typically. Um, if it appears in a reading, it can also mean that you might need to take the time to look before you leap. Um, in love and relationships, it can often symbolize a love that's exciting and spontaneous, but a little bit fickle. Uh, if you're already in a relationship, it could indicate that you're being so in love that you can hardly contain your excitement. But if the person asking the question is asking about commitment, the card is linked to lack of commitment, so it could be that they're not ready for a commitment. For those that are single, it can be a good indicator that an impulsive carefree romance is on its way, but um, not to, you know, miss out on true love because there's a difference between the, the carefree uh, romance that could come indicated by a full card and like true love. So in money and career, it means that opportunity knocks. Um, it may be time to go for a new job or start your own business that you've been dreaming of. Um, other people may try to put you off or may not understand what you're doing, and it says to be patient with them and try to make them understand, but don't let them deter you. Uh, for current projects, it indicates uh, fresh new ideas and being reinvigorated with energy. It can indicate big opportunities for advancement. So um, if you get this card, it should you should try to be clever and research your opportunities and the risk associated, but don't be afraid to take the plunge. Financially, if you take the chance and work hard, you will make more than you thought you would. So for health, it says that the fool build, food, the, sorry, I can't talk. The fool bodes well for physical health if you've been ill, because it indicates vitality and energy. However, it can also indicate being accident prone because of the carelessness. So if you get the fool for health, be careful just in case. And um, it can also represent pregnancy as, it, as that can be like the beginning of a new life and it's associated with new beginnings. Um, for spirituality, 
The Fool indicates that you are at the beginning of a new spiritual journey, which will lead you to great things. Um, it says you'll be eager to try many different approaches. Allow yourself to do this. Others may not under understand the journey you're on, but you must do what is right for you. So those are the positive meanings for the Fool. And the next card in the deck is the Magician. This is one of my favorite cards. Um, and obviously, you know, I'm, I'm reading from, like, some definitions from an online website, but uh, don't forget that, you know, a lot of times, you know, people read different, like, different tarot readers will get different interpretations from different cards, so, you know, um, it's, it's very nebulous. But these are just typical things that are often associated with it. So the Magician is often associated with power, influence, willpower, resourcefulness, skill and ability, logic, intellect, concentration, and psychic powers. So a general meaning, um, it's uh, seen as a sign that you have all the abilities that you need to be successful, like you have all the tools that you need. The universe is aligning to bring positive changes your way. Um, it shows that uh, you must use your intellect, concentration, and willpower to make things happen. But it usually signifies as, signifies a time in your life when you have what you need, you have the power to manifest the outcome that you want. If it's referring to other people in your life, it usually refers to someone you can learn from whose ability and wisdom will impress you. In terms of love and relationships, um, it's a positive card. Uh, for those in relationships, the magician signifies uh, the relationship moving to a new and deeper level where you can expect a stronger commitment and happiness. Um, but if you're, sing if you're single, uh, the magician indicates that it's time to, it's, it's a good time to meet someone new because your partner will be serious about you and will have good intentions and treat you well. For money and career, uh, the magician points to new opportunities presenting themselves. They will require you to make a brave move and put your original ideas into practice. It says to play your cards close to your chest with certain people, as magicians never give away their secrets. It's a good time for promotions or starting new business ventures. Uh, you will be feeling powerful and self-assured big things are coming your way. You might be presented with an opportunity to mentor someone or be mentored by someone who will give you the benefit of their experience. Uh, your finances will be improving or you will have a great opportunity to make extra money when this card appears. In terms of health, your strength and good health may be making a comeback if you have been ill recently or feeling drained. If your illness or ill health is not improving, you may benefit from trying alternative therapies. In the context of health, the magician can indicate that an experienced, powerful healer may be needed to give you the healing boost that you need. In terms of spirituality, the magician tarot card is an indicator that it is a good time to begin some form of spiritual development. If you had an interest in a spiritual subject but never made the time to pursue it, it would be a good time to concentrate on this pursuit in the near future because your ability to channel energy will increase dramatically. Um, it says you will be surprised at how much you will benefit from this spiritual development if you concentrate your energy. Um, if you are interested in psychic development, um, that's like your cup of tea, then the Magician is a good card because it points to strong, latent abilities coming to the front. So that's the magician. And I'm reading off like these papers that I printed out. So that's it for the magician. That's that card. So the next card is the high priestess. So the High Priestess is often associated with desirability, unattainability, um, the subconscious, intuition, mystery, sensuality, spirituality, a thirst for knowledge, um, things that are mysterious, creativity, fertility. So the general meaning is that 
She possesses intuition, mystery, and sensuality combined with common sense. So when she appears, it is an indicator that it's a good time to trust your instincts and go with your intuition. Um, pay attention to dreams and the signs and symbols um, that you see in your dreams. And for love and relationships, if you're a man, the high priestess appearing in your reading usually signifies you will become infatuated with an attractive, feminine, sensual person who may be unattainable to you. But if you're a female, it can mean that you'll be highly desired by more than one person. People will find you irresistible. If you are involved with someone, the high priestess is an indicator of good sex. Good to know. Um, for money and career, um, in the work context, it can indicate that you may soon become aware of information or an opportunity that will be of benefit to you. Um, it can point to creativity and inspiration for those involved in the arts. For students, um, it may mean that a good teacher could be coming into your life to help you. Um, be careful who you discuss your finances with, it says. Keep them on a need-to-know basis. For health, uh, it is generally means that you need to listen to the messages your body is trying to send you about what it needs. Um, it can mean that you're not being taken seriously in relation to your health concerns um, but the advice is that you should not allow your concerns to be ignored the high, pri high priestess can also symbolize fertility and hormones coming into balance in menstruation for spirituality um, this is a key card for spirituality and wisdom so when this one appears it's a good time to connect with your inner voice or intuition and to trust your higher power um, it's a great card for those interested in psychic development so that's the high priestess and then next is number three which is the empress and the empress is associated with pregnancy Fertility, motherhood, sensuality, nurturing, creativity, beauty, femininity, nature, harmony, and art. So a general meaning is that um, it's there's something to do with femininity or motherhood. It's one of the strongest pregnancy cards in the deck. Um, if you're a mother, you will really come into your own and find fulfillment. If you're a father, the Empress encourages you to build on your communication with your children and to show them your nurturing side. Even if you're not a parent, when the Empress appears, the message is the same, that you should embrace your softer side, um, allow yourself to explore the emotions that, you're, that you feel and listen to your intuition. People will be drawn to you, especially those in need of empathy, compassion, or nurturing. For love and relationships, um, it's a very positive card. If you're single, it says get ready to mingle because the empress indicates that real love and romance is on the way. If you're in a relationship, it means that uh, the committed relationship could become deeper and more loving and affectionate. That's also an indicator of good sex. Um, for those enjoying the romance, uh, you have to remember that the empress is a strong pregnancy indicator. So if you're not ready for parenthood to take proper precautions. In a career context, for money and career, uh, it says you'll be feeling very creative and will inspire the people around you with your passion. You'll be full of new ideas, and if you're trying to decide on a career or thinking of changing your career, it's usually an indicator that you would do well in some sort of creative field. Uh, financially speaking, this is a good time for cash flow. It's also a good time to follow your intuition in terms of investments. Um, but it says, as you reap the benefits, to remember to share your abundance of wealth with those in need. For health, um, obviously, as mentioned before, it's a strong pregnancy indicator. And it's also a very good omen of success for those trying to get pregnant. On the flip side, if you're not intending to get pregnant and you are capable of getting pregnant, the empress is a warning to be, t to be careful. 
um, if pregnancy is not a factor in your health concerns, then the empress is an indicator that you need to nurture yourself more and listen to your body's signals. Watch your energy levels, take time out for yourself to relax and unwind. For spirituality, the empress uh, indicates that your intuition is telling you something and you need to slow down and listen to it. Your instincts will be on point and it's a good time to start or continue down a spiritual path as you will find it easy to connect to your higher power and everything will flow nicely for you. It also indicates that it's a good time to nurture your spiritual and creative gifts and connect with Mother Earth. Okay. And after the Emperor, or after the Empress comes the Emperor. And the Emperor is associated with an older man, stability, dependability, fatherhood, father figure, structure, protectiveness, authority, logical, and practical. In general meaning is, um, it says as a person, the emperor represents an older man who is good in business and usually wealthy. It's a solid, stable man. He is powerful, grounded protector, but he can also be rigid and stubborn. This can be a father or father figure type or an older man you are romantically involved with. The Emperor is a hard taskmaster and has little time for fun and frivolity. Children of the Emperor can struggle with father issues as falling short of his high expectations can affect their self-esteem. If the Emperor Tarot card appears in a past position, this major arcana card can indicate that the father figure in your life was authorita authoritarian and that while he had your best interests at heart, he may have struggled to show affection. If it appears in the present or future, it's much better omen as it indicates a wise older man who will give you solid advice, which if you follow it will lead you in the right direction. But if it's not representing a person in your life, it tends to signify the dominance of logic over emotion and of the mind over the heart. It signifies concentration, structure, and stability and focus re is required if you want to make your ideas and dreams a reality. Um, the emperor can also represent fatherhood. In love and relationships, if you're single and interested in men, the emperor in a love tarot context can indicate a, a romantic relationship with an older man. He will like structure, order, logic, and routine. He will be a good influence on you, but romance is not his strong point. He is, however, practical, dependable, and protective. If you are single and interested in women, it's a sign that you need to be more open with your feelings. If you have feelings for someone in particular, you need to bite the bullet and tell her. Don't expect her to guess. For those already in relationships, uh, it's a good omen of monogamy and a long-lasting relationship. If you've been experiencing relationship problems, they will begin to improve and stability will return to the relationship. In money and career, it indicates that your hard work will be noticed and you will reap the overall the rewards of status and success. Concentration, focus, and perseverance will get you where you want to go. If you're looking for work, it means you need to be persistent and logical in your search. Um, good opportunities will come and they will bring structure and stability to your career. Again, it can also be a sign that an older male colleague or boss will provide guidance and support to you. Um, financially, uh, it's a sign that you need to be responsible and practical with your finances. You need to keep reasonable control of your spending and be aware of where your money is going. And at the same time, you don't need to be a tyrant when it comes to controlling spending. Now, in terms of health, it can mean that you're being too hard on yourself. So the suggestion is that you should reduce or eliminate activities that are too harsh on your body. Avoid punishing exercise regimens and be kind to yourself. It says work with your energy levels, not against them. If you're having health issues, you should be logical in your approach to treating them. The suck it up and get on with it approach is not going to be a good idea during this time. So if you need rest, you should rest. If you're ill, seek medical treatment and listen to your doctor's advice. For spirituality, it can indicate that you're neglecting the spiritual part of yourself for the more physical material side. 
Make time for spiritual pursuits and try not to let the logical, rational part of your mind take over and stop you from exploring your sensitive side. If you are currently engaged in spiritual pursuits, the emperor can be a sign that you need to ground and protect yourself. So that's the emperor. And then the next card is the hierophant, traditionally. But in this deck, it is called the high priest. So for the hierophant, it's often associated with traditional institutions, traditional values, anything conventional, conformity, marriage, commitment, religion, beliefs, and knowledge sharing. So the general meaning is that um, it has something to do with traditional values and institutions. So it can represent a counselor or a mentor who will provide you with wisdom and guidance, um, a spiritual or religious advisor, such as a priest, preacher, rabbi, monk, Alternatively, you could be dealing with someone who is very set in their ways. Um, the institutions that this card can represent include economic, religious, political, social, family, educational, social welfare, and medical. Its appearance can signify that now is a time to conform to tradition or convention. It's not a time to rock the boat. It can also be an indicator that you will take part in some sort of traditional ceremony or that you may start creating some new traditions or rituals of your own. For love and relationships, um, the Hierophant is the marriage and commitment card of the Major Arcana. You can expect your relationship to become more committed and begin moving towards new relationship milestones when this card appears. It indicates that you and your partner share the same values and goals and it's a very good card to get if you're wanting a committed relationship. If you're single, this card means that a new relationship is on the horizon, which will be built on commitment, love, and security. For money and career, it can mean that this is a good time to get involved in a group or group projects. Um, you should do what's expected of you and avoid unconventional methods at work and you'll be successful. So the Hierophant is a signifier for sharing knowledge. So you may find that you get a teacher or a mentor who will help you along your career path. You can also become a mentor or trainer of others. Uh, this is a good time to take up study in an established educational institution. Financially, this is a good time to get involved in low-risk conventional investment opportunities. You should stick to conventional methods of managing your money. If you need financial advice, use traditional financial institutions. For health, if you're having health issues, it says that uh, conventional medicine is probably going to be the best route for you at the moment. You would also do well to introduce some sort of health routine into your daily life. Uh, things like exercising daily or taking vitamins, something to boost your immune system. For spirituality, it says the Hierophant is known as the link between mankind and the higher power. A spiritual advisor might be coming into your life to guide you on your spiritual path. While the Hierophant is generally associated with traditional religious practice, if you don't adhere to a traditional religion whose appearance signifies that you will benefit from building some sort of ritual or ceremony into your spiritual practice. So that's it for that. I really hope that that um, siren doesn't pick up too bad on this. This is my first time doing a video with my phone instead of my webcam. Anyway, the next card is the lovers. And let's see, where's the papers? Okay, so the lovers is associated with love, soulmates, kindred spirits, perfect unions, partnerships, uh, major choices, romance desire, sexual connections, shared values. So general meaning, it signifies perfect union, harmony, love, and attraction. The lovers can represent finding the balance within oneself. You are learning to understand yourself, your own personal moral code, and what you value in life. This will bring harmony and balance to your life. In general, when this card appears, it means that you have a major choice to make or are faced with a dilemma. Uh, you may feel uncertainty about certain situations, people in your life, or what direction you should take. Um, 
It says that these are important decisions you're faced with, so don't automatically go for the easy road. Make sure you have all the information and make the right decision, even if it seems like a difficult path. It will lead you on to greater things. In love and relationships, it's one of the best cards you can get. It's a soulmate card and signifies kindred spirits and an intense bond between two people. If you are single, it means that love is coming your way. This will be more than mere infatuation. It will be an intense attraction and sexual passion as well as romance and deep connection and mutual understanding. If you're in a relationship, um, this can mean that you can expect to rekindle the romance in the relationship. The bond between you and your partner will increase and deepen more than you can imagine. It represents you and your partner having a spiritual, emotional, mental, and physical connection that most couples can only dream about. For money and career, it represents a business partnership. If this card is representing a partnership, it will be a great partnership and mutually beneficial. Uh, you and your business partner will be on the same wavelength, you'll work well together, and you will be mutually supportive of each other. It can also indicate the possibility of getting romantically involved with a work colleague. Uh, it says be cautious about mixing business with pleasure. Uh, make sure you know the risks involved and are prepared for the consequences. It can signify that you have a decision to make in relation to career. Um, it may seem that you're only faced with undesirable choices, but that's not actually the case. Gather all your facts together to make the right decision. It may indicate a big change coming or a change of job. It may seem like something you don't want at the time, but it will be good for you. Financially, this card can mean that it's a good time to seek financial opportunities as you will be attracting good fortune. For health, it means that having the right support will help you to get through any health issues. So it may be a partner or a friend who is offering support or a doctor or healthcare provider. Um, it can just mean that you have decisions to make regarding a course of treatment. It can also be related to heart health. So make sure you're taking good care of your heart when this card appears. For spirituality, uh, it says you'll be beginning to find harmony within yourself. As with the overall general meaning, this comes from gaining a deeper understanding of yourself, who you are, and what your personal moral code is. Um, this understanding can lead to a deeper connection to your spiritual self, so you may find it beneficial to pair up with a partner on your journey. Uh, something like taking a meditation class with a like-minded friend could be very beneficial. Okay, now we're coming to card number seven, which is the chariot. So the chariot is associated with victory, overcoming obstacles, success, ambition, determination, willpower, control, self-discipline, hard work, and focus. The general meaning is that you will be overcoming obstacles through determination, focus, and willpower. It signifies that you will be feeling motivated, ambitious, and in control, and now is a good time to go after what you really want. Um, it doesn't mean there won't be challenges. Uh, it says there may be many obstacles in your path, but if you stay focused, keep your composure, and you're confident in your abilities, you will be successful. It can also represent travel, which usually involves driving because chariot wheels, um, as the chariot is, after all, a mode of transport. It says it can indicate that you may be acting defensively or aggressively to hide that you are feeling emotionally vulnerable. You may feel like you are in a battle at the moment, but don't worry. If you stay focused, you will be successful. It can also uh, indicate success in sports or competitions. Um, it represents finding the balance between the heart and mind. So put any worries aside and maintain your focus. In a love reading, uh, it means that you need to conquer your emotions in order to have a successful relationship. If you and your partner have been going through a rough patch, you need to come together, communicate, and work hard. The challenges you face are not insurmountable, and they just require hard work and focus. Um, if you or your partner has anxiety issues, 
it can be crucial to get these under control as this card also represents the need to, ba the need to balance the mind and heart for success. If your partner uses logic as emotional armor, you may need to get around their defenses in order for your relationship to work. And if you are single, this card can indicate that your past relationships may have left you battle-weary. It signifies that you can overcome the pain of your past and move forward in your love life. For money and career, um, this card means that you should be feeling very ambitious and motivated. If you've been having any issues with work colleagues then that you feel may be trying to sabotage you, then you should put your worries aside and continue to work hard and keep your self-control. Um, if you're looking for a job or you've been stuck in a career rut, um, it's a good time to go after the job you've always wanted. You'll beat the competition and achieve your goals. It can also represent work-related travel. In financial context, it's a good omen. It can mean that you're overcoming obstacles. Um, if there has been a financial challenge that has seemed impossible to conquer, this card indicates that it could be a good time to tackle it. It can also represent a big travel or transport-related purchase, such as buying a car or plane ticket, etc. For health, if you've been having health issues, um, you will feel a new burst of motivation and energy to tackle them. Um, if you have a long road to recovery ahead, but you are strong, and it says you may have a long road to recovery ahead, but you are strong and you will overcome these challenges. The chariot can also represent issues with the digestive system, so it's a great time to start a new exercise regimen. For spirituality, the chariot can represent the beginning of a spiritual journey. While this journey will not be without its hurdles, it is one that you are more than ready for, and it can lead you on to greater things. So again, keep your focus, and don't be afraid to try new things and have new experiences. You will reap the benefits. So, one thing I didn't look up, but I probably will put in the description, is um, what each of the cards are associated with. Like, I thought of it because as I pulled out this card, the strength card, I know that this one is associated with Leo, which is a astrological sign, if you're into that stuff. So, the strength card is associated with inner strength, courage, bravery, confidence, compassion, taming, control, and overcoming self-doubt. The general meaning is that you are mastering raw emotions in order to bring calm to yourself or situation. It's similar to the chariot in that it can represent overcoming challenges, but this card usually refers to inner challenges. Um, overcoming the obstacles we face in relation to things such as doubts, fears, and anxieties. So in a general context, this card means that you're learning to master those fears and anxieties, to be courageous and daring despite them. You have all the skills you need to be successful, just like the magician, but the focus now is to conquer your inner worries and believe in yourself. So it says you should take the time to master your emotions and be patient and compassionate with yourself. And by doing this, you will find a new confidence in yourself and your abilities. As well as being representative of taming your emotions, it can also represent taming someone else's wild ways. But it's not done by trying to dominate the other person, but instead by gentle coaxing, positive reinforcement, encouragement, and compassion. In regards to love and relationships, it says that, yes, this represents the Leo star sign, so it may be that a relationship with a Leo is coming your way. If you're single, it can indicate that it's a good time to meet someone because your confidence will be shining through. But it can also indicate that a relationship is coming up with someone who has a bit of a wild side. This can be exciting, but if this person is too wild, you may feel the need to tame them somewhat. If you do want to tame them, coax them gently and don't try to dominate them. For those already in a relationship, strength is generally a good indicator that you are a strong couple, close and united. If your relationship has gone through a lot of emotional upheaval, this card suggests that you are starting to get back on top of it, and that any problems that you had in the past um, have actually brought you closer together. 
for money and career. Um, it means that it's a time to master your emotions and forge ahead. You have the skills and the potential, you just need to be brave and believe in yourself. Don't let fear of failure or fear of looking foolish hold you back from doing what you want to do and reaching your potential. If you want that promotion, go for it. If you feel like you're being overlooked, make yourself known. If you've always thought that you could run your own business, believe in yourself and make it happen. Financially, it says you should avoid impulsive decisions for spending. It's not to say that you shouldn't spend, but make sure that anything that you do spend is a, is a thought out expense and it's not based on an emotional impulse. For health, this is a good card. It's an indicator of good or improving health and feeling fit as a fiddle. If you've been sick, um, this can mean that you're overcoming an illness or you're getting your strength back. It also shows the body and mind coming back into balance. So now is a good time to make positive changes to your lifestyle, um, especially those that require you to exercise more self-control. For spirituality, it can indicate a growing connection to your higher self. The connection to your higher self will give you more inner strength and balance than you dared to dream possible. The energy you put into cultivating this connection, the more energy you put into cultivating this connection, the more harmony it will bring you, which should lead to the perfect balance of mind, body, and spirit. But if you've been going through a tough time, this card is a reminder that you do have the strength to endure it and that things will get better. So the next card is the Hermit. So it's associated with spiritual enlightenment, soul searching, self-reflection, introspection, contemplation, inner guidance, and solitude. The general meaning is that you are entering a period of soul searching or self-reflection and spiritual enlightenment. You may need more alone time to gain a deeper understanding of yourself. You may need to remove yourself from the daily grind in order to discover your true self, to contemplate your existence or your direction in life, or even your own values. The Hermit can also indicate isolating yourself or withdrawing into oneself in order to recover from a difficult situation. It can suggest that you may be going through an antisocial phase where you just don't want to interact with people as much as you normally would. The hermit is wise, mature, and knowledgeable, and may be an indication of someone seeking the services of a counselor or psychiatrist. This is a time to focus on yourself and meeting your own needs. For love and relationships, if you're single, it can represent coming out the other side of a period of loneliness and solitude that may have been needed to recuperate from a past heartbreak or bad breakup. You'll soon be ready for a fresh start. It can also indicate celibacy or chastity. If you're in a relationship, the hermit can represent an older, wiser partner. It can also suggest that you may need to make more of an effort to connect with your partner. And it can indicate that you and your partner are too focused on doing your own thing rather than spending quality time together. For money and career, it can indicate that you're putting too much focus on your career or money in materialistic pursuits rather than sharing your attention between activities that will leave you feeling fulfilled on all levels. It can also mean that you're wondering if you're in the right career. Money and materialism may no longer be enough to motivate you, and you may find yourself seeking a new, more satisfying career path. Financially, now is the time to be mature in your approach to money and investments. For health, um, this card can indicate that overdoing things may lead to health issues. So if you find that you're rough, that you're rushed off your feet, never having a minute to take a breath, the Hermit card suggests that if you don't make time for yourself to rest and reboot, your health may suffer. So take a break. Even taking a few minutes every day just to meditate or clear your mind and connect with how your body is feeling will benefit your health at this time. Spiritually, it indicates that now is the perfect time to engage in spiritual activities. Whether it's meditation, energy work, psychic development, or connecting to your own spirit guides, it says you're coming into a time of incredible spiritual growth. You may find yourself seeking solitude or isolating yourself in some respect. 
However, you should use this time to focus on evolving your spiritual side and allow yourself to take this time out to listen to your inner guidance as it will be very rewarding for you on a spiritual level. So that's the Hermit. And then we're coming to the last card for the first half of the Major Arcana, which ends on a good note because it's the Wheel of Fortune card, which in this deck is called the Wheel of the Year. But it's an overall positive card. It's associated with Good luck, destiny, change, karma, soulmates, decisive moments, cycles of life, fate, fortune, upheaval, and chance. So the general meaning is that of luck or destiny. So when the Wheel of Fortune appears, it means that big changes are coming and that these changes will be for your greater good. But to remember that not all change is easy, even if it's leading to your destiny signals that the universe is working in your favor to help you reach your goals and to make sure that you make the most of this time by focusing your intention on what you truly want. It says to know that the universe has a plan for you even if that plan is not clear to you at this point. It represents an ever-changing cycle um, and that we have to learn to accept this process as part of living even if it's uncomfortable at times. It's also a karma card, so remember to be nice to people on your way up. You may be meeting them again on your way back down. In a relationship context, it indicates a positive change. So you could be taking the next step in your relationship or starting a new phase with your partner or even some sort of joint project. At the same time, the Wheel of Fortune card can bring difficult change. So if you've been finding that you're no longer content in a relationship, this card can signal an upheaval. That could be you and your partner shaking things up and making much needed changes to improve the relationship, or it could be a breakup that will leave you free to move on to better things. But whatever it is, it will lead you to where you're supposed to be. If you're single, this can indicate that the universe is working to bring you the love you deserve, but you may have to work with the universe. You have good fortune coming, in love, so now is the time to put yourself out there, get out and meet new people. Make sure you are discerning about exactly what you want in a partner as you have an opportunity to get just that with this card. The Wheel of Fortune is also a card of destiny, so in a love context it can signify soulmates. If you're single, you may be meeting your soulmate soon. If you're in a relationship, it may indicate that you and your partner are meant to be. Look to supporting cards to confirm this. So for money and career, again, this is a really good card to get. It's an indicator of big changes. If you've always wanted to start your own business or you've been considering a career change, it means that now is a good time to do so. Uh, the universe is conspiring to help you reach your dreams, so now is the moment to go for when, whatever you've been hoping for in your career. If you're happy and stable in your career, it can still be an indicator of changes coming, even if these changes are challenging for you. They will ultimately lead to bigger and better things, so just try to go with the flow. Financially, if you have been consistently comfortable money-wise, it cautions you to be prepared for the unexpected and to make sure you put something up for a time when you may need it. If you've been experiencing financial difficulties, it's an indicator that things are going to improve and that you will have good financial luck. Health-wise, it says that if you've been battling health issues, the wheel may start to turn in your favor. Likewise, you may experience some health issues that force you to make a necessary adjustment in your life. For instance, if you've been pushing yourself too far, mentally, physically, or emotionally, you may find a bout of illness forces you to slow down and take things easy. This may simply be the universe's way of telling you that you need to take better care of yourself. So make positive adjustments and be kind to your body. Spiritually, Fate is smiling on you, and in the spiritual context, you should use this time to develop and grow. The universe is guiding you on the spiritual path, but you must also play your part and seize the opportunities that are opening up for you. You may find that situations just fall into place to help you along the way, and that you meet spiritual people who can assist and guide you just as you need them. You may notice a lot of synchronicity happening at this time. Signs and symbols are all around you. Okay, 
So that is the first half of the Major Arcana, Arcana, however you pronounce it. Um, I'm going to make a part two where I do this with the second half of the Major Arcana. And um, I also thought about doing a video where I talk about what these cards mean in the reversed position because a lot of times it's opposite but it can it can give kind of a different flavor a lot different flavor but anyway that's it for now and I hope this was an informative and hopefully relaxing video and let me know if you like it um let me know if you didn't like it and I will see what I can do until next time